Hi. Okay. Uh, today, uh, I will explain uh, about the midterm project uh, for subject uh, DLO. Okay. First, firstly, uh, we need to understand uh, what the question asks. So, for this project, uh, the question is uh, is asking about uh, the security system and we as a user uh, will uh, design a security system okay uh, firstly uh, the question uh, uh, state that uh, there are four input uh, given which is line A for secret control switch line B is the motion detector attached to window line C uh, a battery power clock and line D is connected to a magnetic sensor to detect open door so uh, all the lines uh, will produce a logic one on each line so first for A when logic is one, uh, it will be it will be turned off. Uh, it means uh, a equal to one, uh, so it's it uh, it will off. Uh, then b b uh, is the motion detector. So when the logic is equal to one, so there are no movement. Uh, and c is a battery power uh, power clock which is uh, the the time for the clock will be 1 which is uh, 12 am to 6 am and lastly is d d is a magnetic sensor to detect open doors so uh, when the logic equal to 1 uh, it will be closed so uh, how we detect uh, the output which is when alarm equal to one, uh, um, so uh, uh, the question uh, give the statement. Uh, the question give a condition, three condition uh, that will make a alarm equal to one. So when a equal to one, b equal to zero, movement detected when the control switch off. Uh, that that is a uh, first condition. So second condition is when C equal to 1, D equal to 0. It will be when the door is open after midnight. And lastly, A equal to 0, D equal to 0. It will be when the door is open, when the control switch on. So from uh, the statement given in the question, uh, we can make a true table uh, which the... Uh, Question us. Yeah. So from this, uh, we'll make we will make uh, the true table. Okay. Uh, next, uh, I will explain the true table and timing diagram for the discrete system. Okay. Uh, uh, as uh, as the previous explanation. Uh, uh, we can get the output so uh, this two table uh, I get from the statement given from the question so as usual uh, there are four lines for the input and one line for output so uh, this is uh, for a line which is Zero 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 one 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 and one. Um, this is uh sixteen bits, sixteen bits, sixteen bits, sixteen bits and sixteen bits. So that's why uh there are sixteen uh column in each line. So uh for B uh uh. We also use 16 bit and C also and D. So uh, 
for first statement which is a equal to 1 and b equal to 0 so we can get the output so we find the a equal to 1 this and b equal to 0 so we, we get 1 here and this is this also 1 0 and we get 1 for y and this this and this so next 1 0 and we get 1 so there are four output we get from first statement so next uh, second statement state that c equal to 1 and d equal to 0 which is when the, the when the door is open after midnight so uh, we find c equal to 1 here and d equal to 0 so we get output y equal to 1 then 1 and this one so uh, there are no output in uh, output here then we find again 1 c equal to 1 d equal to 0 so we get 1 for y other this 1 0 and equal to 1 this also 1 0 y equal to 1 okay so then for third statement state that a equal to 0 d equal to 0 which is when the door is open when the control switch is on so we find a equal to 0 d equal to 0 and we get output 1 then uh, a equal to 0 d equal to 0 we find we found y equal to 1 this also a equal to 0 d equal to 0 y equal to 1 a y equal to 1 others no so there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 output which is y equal to 1 when we follow the statement given okay so next uh, for the timing diagram uh, we just follow the uh, true table so here is a b c d and y so from the true table we can get the timing diagram so we just follow the true table to get the timing diagram which is 1010101010111111010 so this is also same 1010101011111010 so that's all for first question which is derive the true table and timing diagram for the described system So, uh, for next question, uh, the uh, the project uh, asks to list all the min term and max term for the system and write the canonical SOP and POS form. So, this is a uh, min term canonical SOP form that I got uh, from the true table. So, uh, um, I took uh, output which is y equal to 1 to get uh, the expression here so so uh, this is uh, a bar b bar c bar and d bar which is uh, here we can see this 0 0 0 0 uh, which I uh, explain in uh, before this we uh, I take output y equal to 1 to uh, to take the uh, what we call that to, to to take the input line to convert to the uh, SOP form with this so then a bar b bar c d bar plus a bar b c bar d bar plus a bar b c d bar and so on which is i get from this 
and we we take this number and convert to this expression so next max term max term max term uh, canonical pos form okay before that uh, what is the meaning of sop form sop form is a sum of product which mean uh, sum of product and uh, we can see this the product of a bar b bar c bar and d bar and then uh, we uh, plus with the other product uh, equation means that this and this we div we plus each other and then that that's why we call sop form sum of product form okay so next uh this uh max term canonical pos form pos uh stand for uh product of sum which mean uh the product uh we add together to get the uh, expression so this uh i take uh the output which is uh, y equal to zero which is this and we uh, multiply uh, the the value together so and uh, in in the bracket i will uh, plus them together a plus b plus c plus d bar and then we i multiply with the others uh, sum here so for min term i got 0 2 4 6 8 9 10 11 14 and for max term 1 3 5 7 12 13 and 14 okay uh for next question uh we need to implement the system using as few logic gates as possible uh, you may use any minimization technique you are familiar with so there are two ways to minimize the uh, boolean expression to get the logic gate so first is a uh, boolean expression so uh, boolean expression using the law which means uh, there are some law that we can use uh, to minimize the boolean expression uh, and we get the simplest uh, expression that uh, can we use to build a schematic diagram second is Connaught map Connaught map uh, is a table that we use uh, to get the simplest boolean expression uh, so uh, for this question i will use a uh, corner map so firstly uh, we need to uh, put the input one to the table which is uh, at this this and this 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 and this so uh, how we write uh, the labeling for corner map first for uh, this is a uh, four variable uh, so this is a b and this c d so we need to arrange the number here and here so zero 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 one one zero and one one not at this place uh, we cannot put uh one zero but we need to put one one and here one zero uh, same same uh, at this uh, but also we, we will put zero 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 one one zero and one one so after that uh, in this box we will fill the input inside this box so uh, I had put the input inside this box so we need to class uh, the input by uh, ba uh, base 2 which is uh, 2 to the power of 0 to the, to, 2 to the power of 1 
2 to the power of 2 and 2 to the power of 3 which is 8, 4, 2, 1 so uh, I I uh, I grouping this uh, number with 4, 4 and 4 so uh, if uh, the number of grouping is bigger so uh, it will make the boolean expression uh, more simply more simple so uh, from uh, at, uh, get, uh, as you can see the red box here uh, here and here can uh, is one group so this and this which is uh, A B bar uh, A B bar yes A B bar so then this you can get A D bar A plus B bar C D bar uh, so So that uh, I will factorize out the same uh, same uh, what we call that this you can see D and D so I factorize out that so D A D bar A bar plus C uh, plus A B bar so this is a simplest boolean expression that i will i get okay so this is the logic circuit that i create from this boolean equation so this is a b c d and this is y okay so uh, as we can see uh this is a bar uh, from uh output at this point is a bar and this is b bar so a a bar uh, go through to the O gate and this is c so c bar a, a bar uh, go to the end gate this is c go to the end gate so this is uh, the expression for this gate then uh, the output for this gate go to the OR gate a N gate I'm sorry this is N gate and this is D D bar D bar so uh, A plus A bar plus C times D bar so this is the uh, equation for this gate then this is A this is B bar so A go to the end gate and B bar go to the end gate and we got this A B bar so all or two two logic gate we go to the OR gate and we got uh, overall of que equation Okay, next question. Uh, they ask for convert the same circuit using only universal gate. It means uh, there are two universal gate, which is none gate and no gate. So for this uh, logic circuit, I will use uh, none gate. Okay. So from the uh, from the previous logic circuit. Uh, as you can see oh. as you can see there are no gate or gate and n gate so for not gate as you can see there are none to none gate if we convert 
to the universal gate so this is not gate actually and this is uh, not gate actually i'm sorry this this is this only for uh not gate then for all gate this is for all gate yes this is for all gate so this is all gate uh all gate uh if we convert to universal gate and this is for n gate as you can see this n gate and this is n gate uh, when, uh after we convert to the universal gate so same as uh others this is uh not gate not gate this is uh and this is n gate and gate and this is this only uh, i'm so sorry this is only for n gate this n gate and this is all gate okay So for final logic circuit, we can simplify the universal gate. So uh, okay. So for uh, the final logic circuit using universal gate, I I have simplified the logic uh, circuit. So I got this. So how can I get this? I got this. So from uh, this, from this uh, previous from from the previous uh, circuit, uh, I just uh, cancel out them because if we put one here, okay, one here and go to the uh, non gate. So this mean non gate is if this one and one one times one is one and not the output so we got zero so zero go to here and here zero zero times zero is zero and not the output and we got one so it's been actually is the same so one and at this point is one two so that's why i just cancel out the uh gate here okay same also this this and this this okay there are three logic gate that three part of logic gate we can cancel out and we got the same uh, output for at the point okay that's all i hope uh, uh you can understand what i'm talking okay thank you